Hi, my dear students. And we are going to discuss one problem that was sent by the student. So, in this manner, I'll try to provide the video solution for the students' doubts. All of you, if you have any doubts and all, and you can do message me in this number. WhatsApp me in this number. I will try to provide the solutions as soon as possible. Okay. Now coming to the problem. So here in this problem they are asking to find the V1. So let us find the V1 of T and V2 of T both will find. Now they give a mutual inductance is given. So I can convert this into a mutual inductance model. So how we can convert you tell me now here. Dot according to dot convention according to dot convention so we have a mutual effect on one coil due to the other coil so this is my v1 and if this is my V2. Right, so this current I1 is entering here and this current is I2. Now here they given dot given here. Here this is a dot is given, right? Now, and this is a self inductance which is given as a 2H and this is 1H. And here is a dot is there. I can say this is a dot and here I can place a dot. Now you see this thing here, here the current is entering at the dot, current is entering at the dot in the one coil, then the polarity of the induced voltage is what you tell me, positive at the dot location. So at the dot location, upper dot we have now that is positive. How much this voltage, induced voltage tell me, mutual inductance into this current is I1 by T I1 by DT next here so this magnitude of this dependent source it will be depends upon i2 so which is given as mutual inductance which is m into i can say this as d i2 by dt now you see this thing here the current is entering at the dot so then what i can say the polarity of the induced voltage is positive at the dot location here is a dot now so that's why here is a positive this is negative now i want to get this value so what i can do here this to get this v1 v2 i can simply apply the kvl in this loops v1 v2 kvl we can apply so let us apply the kvl now here v1 which is given as and here so this is inductance self inductance which is equal to 2 into d i1 by dt and the mutual inductance which is given as m into d i2 by dt so here you can see now here they given this i2 value 0 given so i can say v1 which is given as d i1 by dt so that is d by dt of i1 is given as a fourth sign 2t so that's why V1 value which is given as a 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16. So that is 16 cos 2t. This is my V1 value. Let us find the V2 also. Now by applying a KVL in the secondary here, V2 which is given as, so L, so this is 1 into what I can say self voltage is di2 by dt plus m into d i2 m so m is mutual inductance which is given as 1 into d i1 by dt now see this thing here here they given i2 value 0 so that means this term will become 0 now tell me mutual inductance is 1 i can say that is d by dt of i1 value given as a 4 into sin 2t now finally what i'll get the v2 value which is equal to 8 into cos 2t 
this is my v2 and this is my v1 like this i will try to provide the solutions for each and every problem and if you have any doubts and all you can whatsapp me your doubts to this number thank you let's meet in the next problem